Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Jessica Yip from Jessing Things Up, and today we are doing a new product review from Avon Canada, and this is the FMG Glimmer Lip and Cheek Stain. I got this just like a week and a half ago. I am kind of on time with filming for this one particular product, but absolutely nothing else in my life. And I think this will be the first video that you'll see with my hair cut off. Yes, I chopped off my hair. Why? It's because if you remember about a year ago, maybe even more than that, yeah, definitely more than that, I started losing hair. My hair kept falling out and it's partially due to stress, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But long story short, went to my hairstylist. He said, yeah, Jess, you need a really good chop, probably plus that and uh, stress my hair was falling out so I decided to give it a fresh start let me know what you think took a little bit of time getting used to the way they styled it when I first came out of the salon Nelson says oh you look like a Chinese Dora <laughs> so I was like mm, not quite the look I'm going for but this I kind of like anyways let's get right into this you guys know how much I love multi-use products. I have various items like the VDL Creamy Sticks Jelly. I have both in Flowage and in Gretel. Great, 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 great product. This next product is a cheek stain. I think the main difference is that you, it's not transferable and um, it's also much smaller. They come in two different colors. It comes in Rosette and Plumeria, which is the shade I got that everybody recommended for me to try, and so that's why we're doing it today. I already have my makeup majority of it done, but we're going to play with a few different ways of wearing it. There, I read online that there is that if you put it onto your cheek before you put on your um, foundation, it gives it a more natural, you know, flushed look, but I already got my foundation on before I read that, so we're just doing it as is on top of my foundation today. This is a vegan product. Regular, this is $20 online. I'm sure that there's always going to be some sort of promotion on it. So make sure you do go to the website in the description box to always check out the most current price point on it. The container itself, nice, simple, red, black. Uh, I think this is like a big look for the FMG line. I mean, the liner from the FMG line has that red black theme. All the lipsticks have the red theme. So I do think it is the brand color. So the way this works is that it's supposed to be a luminous, highly pigmented shade and it's supposed to last all day long. It's a lightweight gel formula. It comes with a little applicator tip. So let's open this up and take a peek a poo to see what it looks like. I don't even remember. Okay, quite dark. Okay, oh, let's do a quick swatch. So again, this is in the shade Plumeria. Whoa, very dark indeed. I'm gonna love this as a lip color. And let's give it a quick blend. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Okay, so it goes on quite dark and I think that I'll probably be able to blend it. And then if I wanna increase the color, I can build on it, which is quite nice. Now, another thing that you can do with this for your lips is that you can use this as a color pop or a base. So we're going to try that as well. So we're gonna try natural flush, and then after that, we'll put some lipstick on top to see you know, how much it makes. I'll do a really light lipstick too. But smell-wise, I don't really smell any fragrance, so there's no added fragrance to this. You do smell some product, but I don't smell any added fragrance. So it's a fragrance-free product, but not a scent-free product. Love the fact that it is paraben-free. Love the fact that it is vegan, suitable for many, many, many of our vegan friends out there. To use this, we're gonna dot it on my cheeks first. I'm gonna blend it with the fingers. My only thing that I had concern about was that if I put it on and I don't blend it fast enough, I'm gonna leave dots on my face. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the case, but we're gonna find out. According to the website, you can also create an ombre effect with this by using both the rosette shade and the plumeria. So the plumeria will be on like the cheekbones, and then right here would be on the on the the the, the apples of your cheeks. You use the rosette to kind of create like a fade. Let's try this beautiful thing out. So next, let's try this out on the face. I mean, I was reading somewhere where they, they say that if you add just a little bit of blush to your face, it actually, if you're in a pinch of time, blush is the best thing to add because it's just going to liven you up and give you a refresh. I don't know if I fully agree with that for my personal face, but um, I do think it does help. I think for me, it's always mascara. Like if I curl my lashes, it makes such a huge difference. So normally when I do blush, I always do it right along my cheekbones now that I'm in my 40s um, because... I feel like it just helps to lift the cheek up. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do one side first so you can see the difference. 
I'll just do like three, I'm gonna do four little dots here. And then they say to use your fingers to tap. So it is kind of like, oh, oh, very pigmented. Um, but I know from the swatch that it is going to blend out really easily for a nice flush of color. That is quite pretty. And what I like about it is that it's not sticky. <laughs> Ooh, I do like it. It just gives a really nice flush of color. Oh, hello, hello. It's very pretty. So nothing on this side besides like of course foundation, but like the stain only on one side of my face right now. And I do have foundation, a little bit of powder, sunscreen and everything on. It really just looks like I came back from a dance class and I'm just flushed in the right places. <laughs> so still like my entire face being beet red. It's just in the area that I want. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna do one more layer because I do want to see how well I can build. So this is one layer. Let's try a second layer. Try not to let it dry too long. I think using a sponge would not be good. I think using your fingers would be the best way. I think using a sponge, because it is kind of, it's like a watery gel, I think that it would just be absorbed into your sponge really, really quickly. I do like the idea of just using my fingertips. Okay, it just adds like a little bit. That's quite nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Flushed or not. I quite like it. I actually quite like it. Very easy to use. Is literally there's that little bit of kiss of color, which is quite nice. I wouldn't build too much more than this. On the camera, I might not be picking it up quite as well because I mean, typically I do have to do a little, little bit more over the top in order for you to see. So for my lips, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna dot half my lips, like so. I just gotta do this. It's like that. Literally, that popsicle lips. Look, it's super duper light. So let's just do one more layer. I didn't even dot this time. I literally just smeared it on. That's the color intensity that I'm looking for. I don't know if I'm gonna get it with a hair. No, I'm finding it a little bit more difficult to stay in the lines. All right, just moved over to the window so you can see the difference. So you can see how the lips, I did do, I found the lips actually quite buildable. The cheeks, oh my gosh, I'm ridiculously in love with it. It is so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. All right, let's finish up the other side of my face. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put a little bit of lipstick on top just to kind of see how, you know what? No, I'm going to leave it like this so that you can see the color difference with the lipstick. Okay, but I'm going to do the other side of my cheek and let's do a quick taste test. Not saying I'm a fan of the, how it tastes, though. So. All right, but let's do the other side of my cheek. I feel like I could do a little bit more so that I can, um, oh, great, <laughs> smear it. Oh, looks like I'm bleeding. You know what, this will be really great for Halloween. Yeah, really, really great for Halloween. <laughs> because during Halloween, I can like draw with this. Ooh, and do some creepy looks. <laughs> creepy looks for fun, but when I go over with the kids, it's always just happy unicorns. You see how, like, how it just melts into the skin? Oh my gosh. Now, the other thing is, if you feel like there's a little bit too much, just take a little bit of translucent powder, throw it on top, and then it'll help soften it up. But you can also see the difference from, like, non-natural light to natural light, how different it looks. So I always recommend, do your makeup, check it out in natural light, take a selfie, and then see if you like the outcome of it before you go out or take a, just stand in front of the mirror. All right, last little bit of tidbit. We're going to try it with a little bit of honey flower lipstick, just so you can see with and without lipstick, if it changes the color or not. So this is the just regular honey flower lipstick, but if you put it on, on top of the stain... It changes it a little bit, not significantly, because I think that this is a slightly fuller coverage. But if you're doing a gloss or something, I think it'll make a little bit more of a difference. There's a bit of a difference, but not ginormous. 
All right, overall, do I like this product? Yes, I do. It's very easy to use, very fun to use, so super user-friendly. Versatile, the fact that you can use a cheek and on your lips. I think for Halloween, I could do some drawing stuff too, which would be kind of fun. If you want to learn more about this product or you want to get it up here in Canada, make sure you go to the link in the description box below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. I really appreciate it. it helps me out a lot. This was very fun to use. I really do enjoy it. I'll try some more looks with it, uh, so make sure you do it you follow me on Instagram or join my Facebook beauty group as well. I love you guys so very, very much. Until next time, guys, stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastic.